let's say your child decides to become a scientist when he grows up what do you think he'll be studying and let's just assume he chooses genetics as his research then he might be studying fruit flies or the larva of the fruit fly so that's how important fruit flies are in research and development for many medical breakthroughs and many discoveries in the basics of genetics fruit flies live and die quickly they have a very rapid life cycle about 10 to 12 days if the temperature is right and because of these comparatively short life spans fruit flies make ideal lab subjects researchers can easily study genetic evolution over generations and learn in 30 years of study what would have taken 200 years to learn in mice or more than a century to learn in humans in this video we're going to look at the larva of the fruit fly the larva's body is segmented and those segments can expand or contract collapsing inward and outward this helps larva actually inch forward in its locomotion It takes 3 to 4 days after the egg was oviposited or injected into a fruit a larva hatches This legless larva which lacks a specific head works its way inside the fruit and feeds on the pulp Equipped the larva is equipped with a pair of black stiff hooks used to scratch and suck the food It has no teeth Brain. the larva has a very complex brain when compared to the body size it's packed with thousands of neurons Though they are small, fruit flies have many genes. Humans have 24,000 genes. And in comparison, fruit flies which are only a couple of millimeters long have 14,000.
Thomas Hunt Morgan was one of the first to systematically study fruit flies. He confirmed the chromosomal theory of inheritance, in a sense that genes are located on chromosomes like beads on a string and that some genes are even linked or inherited together. This won him a Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1933. Once the lava has feasted on the fruit, the fruit starts to rot from the center and this makes the fruit fall off the tree. And once the fruit is fallen on the ground, before any animal could eat the fruit, the fruit fly lava has to make its great escape, escape away from the fruit and bury itself into the mud or into the ground to form a pupae and in achieving this task the super jump of the lava helps it to get away really fast from the fruit or from any other predators. <laughs> 